You have now learned the concepts of medical expense insurance. Let's review some of the key areas from this section that will help you prepare to pass. Medical expense insurance. Medical expense insurance provides financial protection against the cost of medical care for accidents and illness. Coverage may be provided for hospital care, physician services, surgical expenses, diagnostic and laboratory services, drugs, nursing, and other medically necessary procedures. Basic medical expense policies. Hospital expense. Hospital expense coverage covers hospital room and board and miscellaneous hospital expenses, such as lab and x-ray charges, medicines, use of operating room and supplies while the insured is confined in a hospital. There is no deductible and the limits on room and board are set at a specified dollar amount per day, up to a maximum number of days. These limits may not provide for the full amount of hospital room and board charges incurred by the insured. Surgical expense. Basic surgical expense coverage is commonly written in conjunction with hospital expense policies. These policies pay for the cost of surgeon services, whether the surgery is performed in or out of the hospital. Coverage includes surgeon's fees, anesthesiologists, and the operating room. Relative value scale. When the relative value scale is used, each surgical procedure will be assigned a number of points that are relative to the number of points assigned to the maximum benefit. The maximum points are usually assigned to major surgical procedures, such as open heart surgery. Basic medical expense. This is often referred to as physician's non-surgical expense coverage because it provides coverage for non-surgical services a physician provides. However, the benefits are usually limited to visits to patients confined in the hospital. In addition to non-surgical physician's expenses, basic medical expense coverage can be purchased to cover the following. Emergency accident benefits, maternity benefits, mental and nervous disorders, hospice care, home health care, outpatient care, and nurses' expenses. Major medical expense plans. As opposed to the limited coverage available under the basic medical expense policies, major medical expense policies offer a broad range of coverage under one policy. Generally, these policies provide the following coverages. Comprehensive coverage for hospital expenses, which usually includes room and board, miscellaneous expenses, nursing services, and physician services. Catastrophic medical expense protection and benefits for prolonged injury or illness. These policies usually carry deductibles, co-insurance requirements, and large benefit maximums. There are two common types of major medical policies available, supplemental major medical policies and comprehensive major medical policies. Supplementary major medical policy. Supplementary major medical policies are used to supplement the coverage payable under a basic medical expense policy. After the basic policy pays, the supplemental major medical will provide coverage for expenses that were not covered by the basic policy. Comprehensive major medical policy. A comprehensive major medical policy is a combination of basic expense coverage and major medical coverage sold as one policy. They cover practically all medical expenses, including hospital, physicians, surgical, nursing, drugs, and laboratory tests. Comprehensive major medical policies include a deductible, coinsurance, and are generally sold on a group basis. Deductibles. With major medical insurance, the insured is required to satisfy a deductible before benefits are payable. Depending upon the specific policy, the deductible may be a flat deductible, corridor deductible, or an integrated deductible. Coinsurance. Coinsurance is a requirement found in major medical policies that require the insured to participate in the payment of some of the expenses. Typically, the percentage of payment required by the insured is 20% and the insurance company pays 80%. Stop loss. Most major medical policies contain a stop loss feature to limit the amount of expense the insured may be exposed to in a policy year. Often, the stop loss will state that after the insured has paid a specific amount towards his covered expenses, the insurance company will pay 100% of the remaining expenses for the remainder of the policy year. 
pre-existing conditions. Most policies, when first issued, contain a limitation on pre-existing conditions. These limitations apply to all pre-existing conditions, whether or not the insurer declared them on the application. There is usually a specific waiting period after which the pre-existing condition will be covered. Health Savings Accounts, HSAs. Health Savings Accounts are designed to help individuals save for qualified health expenses. HSAs are tax deductible. An individual can make a tax deductible contribution to an HSA and use it to pay for out-of-pocket medical expenses. Contributions to HSAs by individuals are tax deductible and contributions by an employer are not included in the individual's taxable income. Other types of medical expense coverages. Hospital indemnity, fixed rate policy. A hospital indemnity policy, also called a fixed rate policy, provides a specific amount on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis while the insured is confined to a hospital. Limited benefit policies. There are a variety of health insurance policies providing limited coverage for specific accidents or sickness. Benefits may be paid on a reimbursement or indemnity basis. The following are examples of limited benefit policies. Limited risk also known as dread disease. A limited risk policy provides a variety of benefits for a specific disease such as cancer or heart disease. Benefits are usually paid as a scheduled fixed dollar amount for specific events or medical procedures such as hospital confinement or chemotherapy. Critical illness. A critical illness policy pays a lump sum to the insured upon the diagnosis and survival of a critical illness. The policy owner must survive the illness for a certain period of time, typically 30 to 90 days. Dental plans. Dental expense insurance is a form of medical expense health insurance that covers the treatment, care, and prevention of dental disease and injury to the insured's teeth. An important feature of a dental insurance plan, which is typically not found in a medical expense insurance plan, is that they cover diagnostic and preventative care such as teeth cleaning and fluoride treatment. Fully understanding these key topics are essential as you prepare to pass.